What's going on everybody? Welcome back, it's Steve. Today I'm gonna to teach you something cool with the Sony a7 III and OBS. Now, you might be thinking, why isn't this on Wednesday? Technically, this isn't a Sony a7 III settings video, it's more of an OBS video. But I'm gonna teach you how to use your Sony a7 III as a webcam with OBS. So, you really only need three, four things. You need OBS, obviously. You will need your Sony a7 III camera. Put that down real fast. You will need your micro HDMI to HDMI cable right there. Mine is a really long one. I think it's like six feet. You don't need one quite this long, but micro HDMI to HDMI. And then for this video, you're going to need a capture card. Now you could buy the Elgato, um, the, the Elgato capture card. It's like 200 bucks. I don't have that. I do have the Elgato HD 60 S plus, but I'm not using that for this video. What I'm going to use is this really cheap capture card that I bought for like 20 bucks. And it actually works really well. I could link the video, um, above or at the end, but mine looks like this. It's gray. As you can see right there, oddly enough, I wanted to link my Amazon, uh, the one that I bought on Amazon here, but it seems to be discontinued. Um, it's, it was probably maybe just taken off because they're, I don't know, bootleg. I have no idea, but I did find a similar one. Mine's gray. This one looks exactly the same and I'll show you right now. This 4k HDMI video capture card. It's pretty much exactly the same thing as this one. It's just a different URL. The link to mine isn't there. Um, I'll link this in the description below. It's only $18.98. If it works as good as the one that I currently have, 20 bucks and you're all set. So now I'll set everything up. So let me get my OBS over to this screen. Okay, pay no attention to this right here. It's going crazy, crazy, crazy. Don't worry about that. All you need to look at is down here. All right. So like I said, you need your Sony a7 III first, and I'm gonna turn it on. Sorry, I just don't wanna to make too much noise. Then you're going to need the micro end of your HDMI right here, and you wanna plug it into the HDMI port on the a7 III. So we'll do that now. All right, we got it in. Now I'll put the Sony down here. All right, now what you wanna do, right, take the HDMI, the main HDMI portion of this cable and plug it into the HDMI port on the back of the capture card, like so, bam. So now this is connected, you can see right there. All good. Micro end connected to the camera, main end connected to the capture card. Now this is USB-C, I believe. USB-3, sorry. This is a USB-3. So now I'm gonna plug this end into the USB port of my Mac Mini. Get that in. Okay. Right now, everything is connected. The camera to the cable, cable to the HDMI adapter, into the USB port. Now what you wanna do is this. So right now you could see the Logitech 4K. That is this video right here. Me on this video that you're seeing is that camera. All of this is um, turned off. So you're not seeing my HD 60 plus um, capture card or the sound. Um, this black hole is like a digital something, a digital link or something. And then this is just the monitor where you're seeing this because I'm sharing one of my screens. Now we want to get the a7 III as a webcam. And that is really easy. Now all you have to do is click on this plus button right here. If you could see it, click on video capture device. Now, as you could see here, if I wanted to add some existing cameras, I could just click add existing, but I don't want to do that. I want to add a new camera. So I'll name this my A7 III. Click okay. And if this was a name brand capture card, when you click device, you'd see something like Game Capture HD 60, OBS Virtual Cam, Logitech Brio, but this is a $20 capture card. So all it says is USB video. 
I know that because when I tried this without it, USB video wasn't there. So depending on the capture card you purchase, you'll just have to notice which camera device is new to this list. And mine is the USB video. And there it is. And I'll show you in a second. Um, the presets are at 720. I already have my camera in 1080, so I'll just make it 1080. Click OK. And I obviously do not want it covering my entire screen. So I'll just make it a little bit smaller. And then I'll drag it right here. So now you can see this is my Logitech webcam. And this box right here is my Sony. And I'll show you right now. I have it in my hand. And I'm pointing at it right there. See my finger? And there it is. So that right there is the easy way to use a Sony a7 III as your webcam in OBS. If you have any questions, let me know down below. It's really easy. It literally is as easy as I showed you. But like I said, leave any questions or comments down below. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.